Hello, welcome to the news update on Unilag TV. I am Emmanuel Okere. Let's begin with our community story. The University of Lagos has taken a significant step to support visually impaired students, Lagos Branch, by initiating a welfare program. Professor Musa Obalola, the Dean of Student Affairs Division, recently met with the leadership of the Lagos branch of the Nigeria Association of the Blind to unveil this comprehensive initiative. The program aims to establish a strong partnership with the association, demonstrating the university's commitment to the well-being of visually impaired students. Professor Obalola highlighted Unilag's efforts to ensure accessible tertiary education for qualified visually impaired individuals, emphasizing the collaborative commitment to encouraging their academic success. Away from our community and into education, the National Association of Academic Technologists, NAAT, cautions the federal government not to use the exit of tertiary institutions from the Integrated Personnel and Payroll Information System, IPPIS, to shy away from its responsibility of proper funding of education at all levels as enshrined in 1999 Constitution as amended. NAAT advocates for the continuous use of a centralized payment platform to sustain the gains already achieved through IPPIS and reduce the, in the incidence of overbloated personnel costs and ghost workers, which are major reasons for the creation of IPPIS. These were contained in a statement issued by the union while reacting to the decision of the Federal Executive Council, FEC, meeting whereby tertiary institutions were removed from the IPPIS platform. The statement titled NAAT, Position on Exit of Federal Tertiary Institutions, talking about universities, polytechnics, and colleges of education from Integrated Payroll and Personnel Information System, IPPIS, was signed by the association's president, Comrade Ibeji Onwokoma. While NAAT appreciates the fact that by this action, university autonomy will be restored, however, the union has its reservations on payment uniformity of salaries and allowances across federal tertiary institutions as it was achieved under IPPIS, despite its shortcomings. More on education. The Vice-Chancellor of the Federal University Dusi Ma in Kasina State, Amaya Bishi has announced the release of five students who were abducted 74 days ago. According to him, the students will be transported to Abuja to meet with the National Security Advisor, undergo medical checkups, and subsequently reunite with their families. This successful release is credited to the efforts of the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Ribadu. The abduction occurred on October the 3rd, 2023, with five female students initially taken. One ex escaped shortly after, and now four others have been freed. Prior to this incident, terrorists attacked the hostels of Federal University Gusau, abducting several students with some rescued and over 20 still in captivity. We still have more stories on education. The organized labor in the country is poised to take a firm stance on the suspension of the wage award for civil servants, issuing a warning to both federal and state governments to prepare for an increase in the minimum wage from the current 30,000 naira per month. State governors are cautioned that they will be obligated to comply with the minimum wage once it is officially signed into law next year. Discussions are already underway regarding the impending minimum wage expected to be ratified shortly while the federal government has allocated 1 trillion naira in its 2024 appropriation budget for minimum wage adjustments, promotion arrears, and severance benefits 
for civil servants. State governments have largely refrained from addressing the issue amidst the escalating cost of living nationwide. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, Idris Mohammed, noted in an interview with Abuja, in Abuja rather, that the existing 30,000 Naira minimum wage would expire at the end of March 2024. And that's on it on the bulletin. Thanks for joining us on the news update on Unilag TV. Do follow us on our social media pages for more news update at Unilag on TV. Many thanks for watching. I am Emmanuel Okiri. Do enjoy the rest of your day.